Hello, this is Alejandra with Cisco Tech. In this video, I will explain you how to use the set web security command to change the information displayed on the certificates. Before starting, be aware of the information that is currently configured in your Cisco Unified Communications Manager server. For this, open an SSH session to the server and run the show web security command. In the first part of the output, pay attention to the subject name. This information was entered during the server installation. Now, use the set web security question mark command to understand the order and fields that you can modify. Some of them are mandatory while others are optional. First, we have the organizational unit CUCM. Second, we have the organizational name Cisco followed by the location for the organization, Mexico. Then we have the state Mexico and finally we have the country and the alternate host names which are optional. Keep in mind that we cannot change the country field. In CUCM version 10.5.1 and above, you can use the set web security command to add additional common names to the subject alternative name section, also known as SANS. In this example, I will change all the mandatory fields and add IP addresses and host names of my communications manager publisher and subscriber to the SAN field. For this, I will run the following command. Keep in mind that you need to use quotations when there is a space in one of the fields and separate the SAN entries using a comma. Hit enter and please ensure to read all the text in the output you receive before making an option when asked to proceed. You will be informed that this operation creates a new self-signed certificate for Tomcat and will override any previous CA sign or self-signed certificate. This new Tomcat certificate will be created with the updated organizational information. However, certificates for other components, such as IPsec, Call Manager, CAPEF, etc., still contain the original information. You may need to regenerate these certificates to update them. When the time comes, select Yes. You must restart services related to Tomcat for the regenerated certificates to become active. Use the command util service restart Cisco Tomcat to restart the service. Once the action is completed, run the command show web security in order to confirm that new parameters took effect. Take into consideration that SAN entries added with the set web security are not shown if you are using self-signed certificates. Repeat the previous steps in the subscriber if you are using single server certificates. In case of CA certificates, single server or multi SAN certificate, the web page will not show the new SAN entries during the multi SAN CSR generation. However, if you download and decode the CSR, you will see the IP and hostnames added with the set web security command. Navigate to Cisco Unified OS Administration Security Certificate Management Generate CSR. Click on the Generate button. After generating the CSR and sharing it with your certificate authority, get the new CA certificate and upload it to the CUCM. Restart the Tomcat service and confirm that the organization information and SAN entries are visible with the show web security command. For more information about this feature, please go to the command line interface guide of the CUCM version that you are using. Hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.